County. Now the argument over natural chicken. Consumer advocates and even some chicken processors say shoppers are being deceived. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with the story. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Julie. Several congressmen are now requesting a hearing on this issue, and this will be an eye opener for consumers. When you see chicken that's labeled 100% natural, it doesn't always mean it's 100% chicken. You are looking at something consumers never get to see. An industry tape obtained by CBS News and The Early Show of chicken labeled natural being injected with a saltwater solution. The industry calls it a marinade to make the chicken moist, but consumer advocates claim shoppers are being deceived. What many consumers may not know when they purchase chicken labeled as natural is that some of that chicken can actually contain up to 15% of salt water or chicken broth. Uh, so you're paying a lot of extra money for just water itself. And some members of Congress have weighed in on the issue, calling the labeling of natural chicken deceptive and misleading. And consumers are paying billions more for added salt water weight. And then there is the health issue. Injected chicken has up to eight times the salt of unaltered chicken. This is actually extremely dangerous for people who have heart disease, those who have high blood pressure. One tiny four ounce serving of enhanced chicken can have as much as 370 milligrams of sodium. That's more than in a serving of large McDonald's fries, Frito-Lay Cheetos, or Lay's potato chips. Even some in the chicken industry are crying foul over the practice of adding salt water and other ingredients. We believe that sea salt and carrageenan, which is a seaweed extract, occur naturally in the ocean, but should not be part of natural fresh chicken. But producers that sell infused chicken emphasize they are within the labeling rules and they're giving consumers what they want. We make both available to consumers, but there is a large group of consumers, the majority as a matter of fact, who recognize the benefit in more tender and juicy chicken by having it marinated. So it really comes down to meeting the consumer demand. The USDA, which regulates the labeling of natural chicken, says it is reviewing the issue. And I want to show you what a four-ounce piece of chicken looks like. It's not very large. That piece of chicken, it's possible that that piece of chicken can have more sodium than the large fries. And that's the serving of Cheetos, and that's the serving of potato chips. So it's possible that that piece of chicken can have more sodium than each of these. Oh, my goodness. You would never think that. I know. All right, so if I'm going to the store and I want to buy chicken that is not injected with salt water or broth, how do I know? You really need to read the label. So when you're buying something that says 100% chicken, in very small letters on the front, you need to look for things like enhanced with chicken broth. That will clue you in that it has been injected with some sort of salt water solution. So it's in the fine print. It's there. You just got to look for it. You have to read the label. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. We have to read everything. Susan Copen, thanks so much. Well, after seeing that, if you think meat or fish is a better dinner option, think again. A congressional hearing today will highlight how the meat that looks fresh isn't. CBS News Capitol Hill correspondent Chip Reed is live with that part of the story. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. You know, most consumers judge the freshness of red meat primarily by its color. But as you're about to see, looks can be very deceiving. Take a close look at this meat. The bright red color suggests it's fresh, but all these packages have been sitting out unrefrigerated for more than 24 hours. This is what ground beef normally looks like after 24 hours at room temperature. What's the difference? The bright red meat is packaged with a small amount of carbon monoxide to keep it looking fresh. The chemical itself in such a tiny quantity is harmless, but critics of the process say it still puts consumers at risk. So when consumers are in the supermarket, they can't tell the difference between a fresh piece of meat and a piece of meat that's been sitting on the shelf for several weeks. Here's a good example of what we're talking about. This package of ground beef doesn't look too bad, but look in the corner of the packaging there. The date, November 26th, 2005. This meat is almost two years old, 
and it's still red. Carbon monoxide is used in packaging some fish, too. Congressional investigators say federal inspections have shown more than 20% of that fish coming from overseas is unfit for human consumption. Some major food retailers, including Tyson, Safeway, and Giant, recently stopped using carbon monoxide. But the American Meat Institute Foundation says it's perfectly safe, arguing that consumers are smart enough to know that if a product were temperature abused by being inadvertently left on a counter or forgotten in the trunk of a car, they should throw it away. Consumers also know they say that if meat smells bad, looks or feels slimy, or if the use-by date has passed, don't buy it. Now, one problem with that, though, of course, when meat is on the supermarket shelf, it's wrapped in plastic, so you can't smell it, you can't feel it to see if it's slimy. Uh, so what consumer groups want is a label on the package saying that it's been treated with carbon monoxide and you should not use the appearance of this meat to judge its fresh freshness. Julie? Mm, incredible. All right, who's in the hot seat at this hearing, Chip? Well, a lot of people, the Food and Drug Administration and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, uh, consumer groups say they're just not doing enough to protect people. Julie? Chip Reed. Thanks, Chip. And now here's Hannah. Thanks, Julie. Ahead this half hour, are curvier women actually smarter than smaller women?